How was the dating scene in Japan? Some Japanese people are the worst people to date. They are horrible. They have like, no sense of compassion or anything like oh. that. I need <laughs> I need him out of this podcast. <laughs> you wanted him here. Yeah, you wanted him. For the- Hi guys, welcome back to This is not a podcast. We have a what was the clap for? You know bro? I like doing the clap, man. Yeah, but then you should have done the clap. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I guess okay, this we've, we've got a veteran with us, yeah. and we've got Miss Leah, rookie, rookie of the season, She's Leah Japan, straight oh. from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Leah Japan because her entire personality is Japan. Japan. Yeah. Hi, Leah. Hi. How is it? How does it feel being on the podcast? It's um very small. Very small. The room. Oh, the room is very small. Yeah. What we want like a stadium or what for a podcast? <laughs> Bro, I genuinely expected something bigger than this. Like genuinely. Is that it's like, okay. Is Women that, are meant to be disappointed with that, facts. Yeah, is that like a usual thing for you in Japan? Like you what? expect something bigger and then. I am not gonna be led into that. Led into <laughs> more, I'm talking about like Japan, Tokyo as a city. Is it oh, big enough okay. for you? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? What did you think you were yeah. talking about? Something you don't have too much of. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's why Nisu always loves the little things in life. He's embracing no, it. I will not stand for Nisu slander. Oh, yeah. what happened? You I can sort of surprise it. you, bro. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, for a little bit of context, uh, Leah has done something really cool, which I think most kids who study in India don't do, which is go and study somewhere nobody has ever gone and studied, which is Japan. I, I like think she's the only person from Kerala to go there. And study. Yeah, I mean what? that's not true. What do you but do? That's, <laughs> you guys, not true. that's not true. <laughs> but we <laughs> okay. said it like that. Oh, she's okay. the only person. I thought you guys are being Japan. serious. I I'm genuinely the only thought you were dumb. Person that's oh. that okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, at least one hate comment is going to come for that. But okay. What, what did she say? Bro, hate I'm the only relevant <laughs> person who has gone to Japan. Yeah, you are. You are. Okay, but what prompted you to go to Japan? The culture. What do you like about the culture? Yeah, and wait, wait. Before you tell me what you like about the culture, what are you studying in Japan? I do international relations, which is, I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm doing a degree there, which is something better than what Nisu's doing. Oh, that's so, true. Which yeah. is, Nisu's not doing anything. He's dropped out of college, so. Yeah. So, um, but which university is it? It's Tokyo International University. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a made-up university. <laughs> it's a very common name. <laughs> yeah, that sounds made-up. It's like... <laughs> Okay, <coughs> not to confuse it with the Tokyo University. That's like the Harvard University of Japan. Okay. Not that. I study in Tokyo International. Literally nobody confused anything because nobody yeah. knows. Nobody <laughs> there knows. Was, there were two cares, universities. <laughs> no, but she meant like maybe someone maybe will somebody, know. Yeah. If your whole world was not just choice, 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 people would be aware of other things. What's wrong in the choice yeah. world? Yeah. I hate choice, like literally. What is She's it? from fucking global. <laughs> She's shitting on choice. That's yeah, crazy. I also shit on Guys, choice. for context, choice is the school in Cochin. Global is other school in Cochin. Other school, exactly. Uh, yeah. What? Wait, 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 before we... Okay, so, okay. So we have some controversy here. Before we head into Japan, why do you hate choice so much? Because choice is full of entitled pricks. Wait, I shouldn't use pricks. That's a harsh word. Entitled kids. Like, what's wh- wh- why do you think they're entitled? What are they entitled to? Because, um, like, give us examples. So, a lot of usually names are also good. Names, no, I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> the so, like, usually a lot of my mom's friends, like, you know, her they like put their kids out of choice because, like, all they do is they go to school and then they always have like some kind of event, mm. and then it's like that's all they do, they never study or do anything. Yeah, mm. because these guys have the comfort of not having to actually look for a job or whatever, right? That's true. So yeah. that's fine. I agree with your... I agree with your... What do you mean I studied? Analysis. What? I studied, dude. I never went for any You're really not a good example. You dropped uh, out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, moving over this <laughs> choice, Jinmaya, global uh, debate. <laughs> What? Chinmaya wasn't even mentioned. <laughs> Guys, Abhiram is off camera. He's a very hardworking doctor in Minneapolis. And he's like, I studied in choice. I worked hard You're all my life. You're the exception to the rule. And Tessa is looking at us. Tessa is also here, by the way. And Tessa is like, how dare they talk about choice like that? And yes. also, Joby is here, who owns Dawn International. He's like, yes, choice my lander. My brother went to Dawn International. My brother. His name. He. Wait. Your mom asked me how she, how she can get your brother into choice. That's for a different reason. My mom just <laughs> wants the best, like, because all my brother's friends are in choice. Joby's going to cry right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't done, but then it was way too far from What's my brother. What's his name? 
Rehan. Rehan. Fuck so him guys, up, fuck him up. Yeah, again for context, Abiram, Jubi, and Tessa are off camera. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're just pointing a lot towards people that's not on the. We'll podcast. make them say hi to the camera <laughs> okay. later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can we can we speak about Japan? That yeah. is why we call yeah. Leah here. Yeah. Japan. Okay. So what is it about the culture that you like? So I am extremely introverted. So like it is very not acceptable. Like my behavior is very not good for Malu culture. Okay. Because like my mom especially, she's like very loud and like you know she has a lot of friends. She's very social and everything. Like I'm the opposite. So for me, it was very easy to integrate into like Japanese society and culture because it's like they have a set set of like rules and ways to like go about life. So it's like no one speaks to each other, no one interacts with each other. So like it was very easy for me to like in- fit in. Yeah. Over there. So it's like a country of introverts. Basically, Isn't that kind of depressing? It's not introverts. They're more like NPCs, you know. <laughs> Honestly, they move in a certain direction. They get out of the train in one line. It's like insane how the whole country as a whole is insanely like unison. They have to be like wired differently or something, you know. So you don't find that boring like this who asked you? Yeah. I did not initially, but now I do. Now it's like I've grown out of my shell, so it's like wait, I it's not. You need some yet. activity around you. So, so you went to the most introverted country in the world, and then you became an extrovert. <laughs> 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 Basically, but then yeah, I feel like I needed to be in that environment to realize that that's not for me, because mm. I idealize. So a lot of people go to Japan thinking, oh, it's like utopia you know it's like so ahead in the future and stuff like that but it's really not yeah a like lot that. of people like yeah. i've heard a lot but of people why say why that. do you say it's not like that a lot of people fantasize japan mainly because of anime manga like k i mean not k pop j pop and whatever but like so if you go there a majority of the populations don't like they don't even watch anime mm-hmm. so they really find it like irritating when like people associate anime to japan Got constantly it. they're like oh do you watch anime it's like no one, barely anyone watches anime there and like on top of that it's like insane work culture there like so there's a world word called karoshi which literally means working till you're like dead and it's like suicide from like work kind of phrase and it's like um so until the boss leaves from the company you are not allowed to clock out even if you say you work from 9 to 5 your work ends by 5 you cannot clock out till the boss leaves for the day. Yeah. And, and wha- basically all of these bosses compete with each other like because they believe whoever stays back in the office the longest worked hardest. Hard and it's like insane. So like I um work part-time and like I clock out by like 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. and like by the end of it I see a lot of like so it's like a daily routine for me to see like all of these like insanely tired like um so the word kaishain It means like salaryman. Literally translate to sal- salaryman but it's just business like like your office worker. Got it. Yeah. So and also there's um like a really huge drinking culture after work. So it's like you are expected to drink with your boss. And it's like even if you like don't drink you are forced into it and it's like when I'm like in the station it's just puke everywhere oh. it's like wherever you go so especially the major tokyo cities it's like by 11 p.m. to like last train it's always just puke everywhere and it's just like a normal sight to see wait you know? so when are they going out drinking like when does the boss leave and when the boss leaves it's all part of work you know that's considered it's like team building yeah, sort of exactly. activities do they drink sake is sake? that what it is sake 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 literally just means alcohol but oh. then like foreigners considered as the rice wine right mm. yeah they drink a lot of sake but it's more of like whiskey okay like there's the yeah, japanese, japanese yeah, whiskey is really famous really really famous yeah yeah but yeah sake is pretty common too and then there's like umeshu which is like fruit liquor which is like more easier to drink no oh, you don't drink alcohol no i don't drink yeah. alcohol yeah. he only endorses them <laughs> 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 nice. Uh what's your favorite part about Japanese culture? Not the people. <laughs> Why not the people? Not the food. Okay. <laughs> um like eliminating the Why why not the people? Though? <laughs> the people She said they stink. You can say it. I fine. did not say so <laughs> that that's literally impossible for them to stink. Okay, but What do you mean it's impossible for them to stink? So they literally oh, have Oh, the Chinese the- stink. 
Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> yeah. Stop my putting bad, bad, words bad, bad, bad. in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, they have, like, some kind of, I don't know what the specific gene is called, but they have that kind of gene which makes them impossible to, like, produce, like, stinky sweat. sweat. Yeah. Okay, there's sweat like their ear, yeah, their So, the puke also smells like roses. No, I just said their sweat. Yeah. Oh, just their, sweat. You can differentiate that from their, like, earwax. Their earwax is, like, so ours is, like, sticky, right? Mm. Theirs is flaky. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so that that's the, I don't know if it's called the ABG or you're, something you're like that. You're just running around checking your <laughs> Yeah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's Japanese like mainly Koreans wax. and um like Japanese people. Yeah, those two people they don't stink that much. I'm not sure about the Chinese people, but then like You <laughs> like literally said word for word, Chinese people are fucking nasty. They stink. That's what you said. I did not say no such <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've heard this one. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Yeah. Please, don't put words in my mouth. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not the people, not the food. Yeah. No, no, What's but wrong no with she hasn't food? said why she doesn't like them. Oh, yeah. She oh, didn't say yeah, why. so... She just said they don't stink. <laughs> like, when you go there as a tourist, it is lovely. The, like, the like hospitality, you will never find that anywhere else in the world. But India has the best hospitality, according to Facts. me. But yeah, I think in Kochi the best yeah i love malus like i hate being associated as an indian but i love being called a malu yeah okay so you're um, going viral for that but okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so then um when like they're very two-faced so to your face they're like insanely sweet to you know they like know how to work you up and shit but then like the minute it's like behind doors they are like shitting on you constantly so i work part-time and like So, like, my co-workers, like, majority of them are Japanese people. And then they're, like, insanely sweet to, like, customers and stuff. And then back when it's, like, in the staff room. So, like, gaijin is, like, the slur word for foreigners. And then, like... Well, what does that mean? It just means foreigner, foreigner but it's, it. like, a it's slur. It's, like, saipu. Saipu, oh, okay, yeah. It's, yeah, like, yeah, saying cool, saipu. Cool, yeah. So then, like, staff room, they're, like, always shitting on people. They're, like, oh, these people have no brain cells. Can they not, you know, do this, that, blah, blah, blah. It's like I get it to a certain extent, but Japan has way too many rules. Like, so in in India, it's very common to open something and eat it or drink it before you pay for it, right? Yeah, yeah. So there, it's against the law, and oh. I have so many customers that do that before me. And, then and apparently, like you <coughs> can't eat outside the convenience store, also, right? Like, no, you cannot walk in or like drink yeah. on the street. Oh. But that's bullshit. You can do that. <coughs> yeah. It's not against the law uh, that. Yeah. So if you eat, like open No, I know it's not against the law, but Yeah, yeah. It, it's culturally yeah. frowned upon. But if you open a packet of chips in the convenience store before paying and you eat it then it's you're fucked. It, What do you mean you're fucked? They like, can happens? call the cops on you for what? that. Yeah. Cuz so I mean the, it's yeah, there's a high chance it. you won't pay for it. You can just hide the wrapper yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And they really don't believe foreigners would actually pay for it. So then, yeah. Mm-hmm. And like my managers and coworkers don't speak a word of English, so then they come to me. They're like, "Yes, uncle, tell that, you know, blah blah." But they're screaming at me, and then I'm like, "Please don't open that in the <laughs> store." And then they're like, "Oh, sorry, we'll pay for it." I'm like, "Yeah, I know, but just, just yeah." And then it's like I'm the only one who can speak in English, so it's like it makes me look bad. It's like mm. I'm the one who's anal about it. I don't give a shit. Please just follow their stupid rules, please. So they call you Lia San. Yeah. Dia-san. They don't say Lia. It's they can't pronounce L. Oh. So it's Dia. Oh. What Ria? is it? They can't pronounce L. Yeah. Japanese so people cannot. Say? So say Ria. 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 D R like uh, it's like a Ria. D like a uh, L plus R. So what is London? London. <laughs> <laughs> London son. They that's why they don't have like it's not McDonald's it's McDonald's like you know. What? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 McDonald's. Who are they fucking stupid? <laughs> like what? Yeah, they have a lot of like romanticized. But McDonald's. McDonald's. What? Oh my god. Yeah, If I hear have, anyone say I'll slap them. Yeah, they, they have a lot of words where it's like mispronounced. It's it's Japanese words, but then they're basically just mispronounced English words. Tell me tell me something else. There's yeah. like for coffee they say kohi. <laughs> Come on. Koi, that's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Not chicken. Koi. 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 Uh, there's a lot. But this is what Japanese or they are saying it in English. It's Japanese like they're speaking in Japanese but oh. it's just oh. yeah. I thought they were like speaking English and they just They they cannot speak in English. So like it's very easy. So I thought like I went to Japan with my like best friend. And I was like, okay, yeah, we can speak in Malayalam and shit talk people. We didn't need to do that. We just need to speak in English in public. They won't understand a word. Like, genuinely. Mm. 
Yeah, because they're pretty xenophobic, like extremely. They're not racist. They're genuinely just like, I feel like, like they stare at black people not because they're being rude, because they genuinely have not never seen. seen. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so they they've never experienced or like seen such people. So they're like, it's more curiosity. Like the small kids, they like look at the black people. They're like, oh, you know, why is your hair curly and shit. But then, um, yeah, they're extremely xenophobic, so they just believe that, like, I think... They're they, the best yeah, nation in the world. They it's like a superiority complex. Insane superior complex, yeah. It's mm-hmm. a bit... <laughs> Her Japanese is coming out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's why you don't like the people. What about the food? Horrible food. Why? Is it bland? It's so, like... Dude, you then, why do you ask me to come there? <laughs> if everything is so shit no, why the fuck would I come the there the party culture is insane like I love it there like, I, I, I love party here in Watson's it's insane I'm fuck your Watson's what is, what is, yeah, what you have made, Watson's made, Velocity made, what else do you have wait what is a party culture there like oh in Japan yeah it's like no in Velocity well, <laughs> <laughs> no so party culture is like really really nice so it's like there's like um these red light districts you go Former Ooh. red light districts. Ooh. No, don't get excited. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> That's all the trick. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, like, there's, like, like, so many herds of bars and clubs. I mean, I haven't been to the clubs. Cab. I really haven't. Why Why not? Because my friends don't... Like but wait a minute. Like, if they're all introverts and they're in the club, what are they doing? No, it's a lot of foreigners. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, a lot shit. of foreigners. Oh, okay, the yeah, foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the foreigners are in the clubs, yeah. So, um, it's so easy to make friends and, like, interact with so many different people. Like, like you go to Kochi, it's, like, you know, people that you grew up with and, yeah. like, shit. You're not oh, meeting I, I thought people. you, for a second, you were talking about Kochi in Japan. No. no. <laughs> yeah, there is a Kochi oh, in yeah. Japan. There is a Kochi yeah. in Japan, yeah. So, then, like, you go there, it's so, like, you have so many, like, different people, like, you can just interact with. And it's, like, no obligations. You hang out with them for the whole night, done. And then you just never have to bother again. Because I am horrible at making friends. So I would love it if I can just hang out with people and just never see them again. And then I just want to keep having like a roster of people to just keep hanging out with like new, new, new ones. I guess we're at her season of 24. (laughs) That is extremely depressing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, why do you not want to see them again? She gets bored. Yeah, I get bored of people because they always do something to ache me out. Except Nisu. Oh, I was waiting for that. Yeah, Nisu was very scared. Nisu, I see her every day. She was young, but. What? Y'all have been like friends since forever, so. You're the lucky one. So you like the party culture because everybody's friendly and then? And um, insanely cheap alcohol. Yeah. So cheap. You get like these nomiho dais, which means all you can drink for like two hours. 3,000 yen. Yeah, like 2,000, 3,000 yen, which is like 1K. And that's all you can drink. Yeah. It's so cheap to like get wasted. Here it's like two drinks and you're like, oh my god, I, I want to go home kind of vibes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, facts. So it's really like there's a lot to do. There's a lot of different kinds of bars too. It's not, always, it's not just about the alcohol too. It's like, mm. like a, I love like different kinds of bars. So there's like these record bars. So there are these things called muscle bars too. Okay. There's like female ones and male ones where it's just like insanely jacked women or jacked men just serving you the drinks and then oh they'll like God. squeeze yeah. you to like, like that's how she's gonna die in Japan so <laughs> she's gonna squeeze her to death <laughs> yeah. yeah sounds actually uh, it's one country I've always wanted to visit you should go before like now it's like Initially, it was very niche. Now, mm. this year, it's like, holy fuck. Yeah, it's like, becoming very mainstream. No, yeah. I feel like Japan is such a romanticized country because it everybody is. feels like, everybody wants to travel there. Like, anybody yeah. you ask who has watched one episode of anime, anime is like, yeah. Yeah. No, but I hate anime. I hate anime and I still want to go. <laughs> so Yeah, there's something for everyone, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, Shami is going to get destroyed, but I... Yeah. I absolutely don't understand. I get it. you, though. I yeah. used to watch anime. Now, absolutely... I mean, I don't hate it, but I just don't have the time for it. Like, I you just don't understand You have to be insanely it. jobless to, like, be able to keep up with it. <laughs> yeah. No, and... Yeah, how can you not like anime, you, you don't understand? Do you, like, watch without subtitles or you just don't get the... <laughs> 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 no, I just don't understand why people like anime is what my What is there to understand? You also don't like anime. You should try watching Cut that part out. <laughs> you should try watching hentai. Maybe it'll change your mind. I know what hentai is. You what is hentai, Shamali? Porn. Porn. Puran. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what porn? It's like anime. Japanese porn. anime. Yeah. Oh, okay. She knows. She knows. I, yeah, no How do you know? Dude, this is just I am not living <laughs> under a rock. <laughs> How do you know? 
I'm friends with you, Nisu. This is the first time I ever spoke about Hendra. Yeah, and I'm also friends with Aryan Nair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Let's go! I need more energy! How did you learn how to speak you Japanese? You stop doing okay. that. Like, it's really loud for me when I'm watching it on the train. Oh, wow. She's representing all of the uh, comments ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes I'm just trying to watch peacefully and then you scream. Why would you do that? Now you know when I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know when to remove the earphones. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's going to watch this episode. I'm not going to watch this episode. There's no way in hell. Why I'm not? It's my voice, my face, my... That's crazy. I watched my first episode like 25 times. Yeah. That's yeah. because you're a narcissist. You and I didn't even speak. <laughs> you are the biggest narcissist I've ever met. Okay, okay. Second to Back me, to Nakshi. Japan. Okay. Okay. How did you, how did you <laughs> learn how to speak Japanese? I don't I genuinely do I didn't learn Japanese. You know she in speaks Japan. like fluent Japanese. So it's crazy. fluent Japanese. Maybe okay, you should do the entire episode yeah, in Japanese. This half yeah. should be yeah. in Japanese. 5 minutes, 5 minutes only you in Japanese. You guys want to know no, what no, I'm no. saying. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, we will we'll try, try to, to assume what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. 5 minutes in just Japanese. She said okay, now I'm going to speak in yeah. Japanese. Okay. Mm, so Correct? Hi. Yes. Say so, say something more. Mm? Say some say one more sentence. Sharon Nair is so cool. She just said. Yeah, Dude, I think that. Yeah. Yeah. Nisu also a little yeah. bit. Wait, say it again. Say it again. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we've got a Russian speaker. You've got a Japanese speaker. Can you actually Japanese speak in Russian? Speaker. Yeah. Can but you like, like, I've like, yeah, I need to practice. So how many languages can you speak? English, Hindi, mm. Malayalam, mm. Russian, Arabic. You can speak in Arabic? No yeah. way. No, no chance. That's Jameel. Bullshit. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> My God, Sharan. I'm, <laughs> I'm a Muslim just for your information. That's, that's, that's Arabic, right? Yeah, that's Arabic, but really rude. How is that rude? You're culturally yeah. appropriate. How is that culturally Allah appropriate? Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Oh, sorry. Okay. Your religion? My religion is not ah. your... Your, so your okay so your your you love your religion i think in your religion it says that you're not allowed to drink so then what are you doing i'm a modern muslim yeah M- what about what kind of before marriage i don't have sex before marriage yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i think we've digressed quite a bit i was just going to say we have a russian digress what does that mean <laughs> like moved away from the yeah, topic the episode has lost it completely yeah, yeah we fuck my point <laughs> Shamali was saying, we have a Russian speaker. We have a Japanese, Japanese. we have a Sinhalese. Yeah. And then we have me. <laughs> yeah. You can speak in Hindi. Yeah. You're like the Hindi. true Hindi. Even I can speak in Hindi. Really? Yeah. He can manage, yeah. Even I can speak in Hindi. I learned it from Doraemon. Oh my Same. god. Really? Yeah. How did you learn Hindi? Doom Maraj. 3. <laughs> <laughs> doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3. <laughs> okay, so... What is a what is a normal uh, party night for you? Like, what do you guys do with your friends? Party um, night wise, do you get smashed? How often do you drink? I oh, drink? she's drunk every day. She FaceTimes me every day. She's drunk every single. You're day. drunk every day in Japan. No, every single day. No, I don't have time to be doing that. No, because I I work um three like. Two. So you work at a gro- grocery store. No, it's this store called Donkey Hotel. Donkey Hotel. Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> It's Don Quixote, like D O N Q U I X O T E. What? Okay. Don Quixote. Yeah, it's like a. It's like everyone that goes to Japan will know that. Got it. It's like a discount store, and you get like from A to Z, everything. And I work in like the tax free department, mm, so duty all my. Free. Yeah, so all my customers are just foreigners. Got it. And bro, do you know the saddest thing happened? Um, you know, like Kanye comes mm-hmm. to Japan very frequently, right? So I work on Thursdays, Saturday, Sunday, and the one day he came to like, and my like my specific store is like has a chain of like 120 stores like all throughout. I don't know, 120 might might be an exaggeration, but there's like a lot of stores in Japan. And then the one day he comes is on a Friday. Oh my! And you God. know, the next day I went to work, and like the thing about Japan is no one gives a shit about anything. So like they didn't even know that Kanye was at the store. And I went to work. How and did you know they were, he was Because I saw pictures. Oh my yeah. god. And he came to my store twice. Oh Both days I was not working there. Yeah. That's I was fucked like up. I'll talk to Kanye for you. Yeah. Okay, That's but if you up. met Kanye, what would you do? I'm the biggest Kanye fan. Like the biggest Kanye so fan. So Taylor Swift or Kanye West? Obviously Kanye West. What? What? Dude, Tessa <laughs> is so pissed right now. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've just I feel very close to Kanye rather than Why? What do you mean you feel close to Kanye? Like mental health. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his bipolar disorder and so you know. Oh. He's just very misunderstood like I just genuinely love him. So you, so you think you're disorder. misunderstood? I I what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what Nisu said. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. I he said So you think you're misunderstood? I said do you love bipolar disorder? I don't like the disorder. Okay. I just feel like sometimes when I think about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I feel like our generation of kids like no one's just mentally sane. No one's 100 perfect. Like 100%. Yeah, I think everybody's going through. <laughs> yeah, everybody is going through something on Yeah, so like I just feel like a Kanye West is more relatable than like a white blonde. Yo, yo, yo don't talk about it like that. Wait, what would you do if Why you met Kanye West? Why are you relating to a white blonde? I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. You don't have hair. I do. <laughs> I'm a Swifty. What would you do if you met Kanye West? Like what would like what would the interaction be like? I have thought about this so many times <laughs> and every week it changes. Like every okay, week. So this what week is it this what week? is it? This week I would genuinely ask him what he thinks about like the fake Yeezys. Damn. What was yeah. it last week? Last week I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. said every week you think yeah. about him yeah, fucking liar. I've been saying this liar. way too often. <laughs> What? Yeah. What do you think about fake Yeezys? Me? Yeah. I don't know. I just want to know what his opinion is. So I could take that opinion. Would you wear <laughs> like <laughs> Would you wear like I've never had Yeezys and I don't think I would ever buy Yeezys. Okay, but what do you think about like buying like fake shoes, fake clothes? Never. Why? Horrible. So that's such a refreshing take from your like your what 20? Yeah. I feel like most young people don't mind wearing fake stuff. No way. Okay, so I like in Japan, and my ex-boyfriend was also Korean. So like um they have like an insane like especially Korean, I think it's like the number one country to like consume luxury brands. Yeah, they love brands. Yeah. And I like, think that's all of Asia, even Chinese. Yeah, but I think Korea is like number one and they like wait in line for like hours just to get like a stupid new like yeah. bag or whatever. So like fake stuff is just not a thing in Japan. So I've, and like also growing up, I just find it really like like tacky. If mm. you want it that bad, why do you like buy the fake stuff? Like I just find it really Okay, but like what if someone who can't afford it? Then Don't. Like then I would just see, buy something you can yeah, afford. Buy, no, buy but what if you want the specific <laughs> bag with like Work, similar yeah, similar exactly. quality? I just genuinely don't And believe. you're lazy, but you He's still He's talking want about himself <laughs> here. <laughs> Okay, but no. <laughs> tell me something you really like, which is expensive. I don't like stuff that's that Fuck expensive. Me, okay, fine. Yeah, I really like Chrome Hearts or like Vivian Westwood. Okay, so if you like a Chrome Hearts uh, like Birkenstocks collaboration, mm. okay, and it's like fucking expensive, but if you could get the same thing for like two thousand, yeah, two thousand rupees. Never. But you can't. Nobody can say. Nobody can tell the difference. I will know. Okay, I but will but know. what if even you can't tell the difference? Yeah. There's no way. What do you mean? But like, okay, what if? Okay, you can tell the difference. What if nobody else can tell the difference? People think you're wearing chrome hearts. No, it just feels like you're I'm, wronging yourself. Yeah, so it's yeah. like I don't need to try that hard. Like, there's no. I feel like. I mean, I hope I never reach that point in life. where i'm surrounded by people uh, also it's like cuz i was in kochi i don't think anyone's that into luxury brands so it's like i've never felt the need to like keep up that level so i hope i never get surrounded by like you know really surface, Hearty, yeah surface yeah. level people that i need to keep up cuz i'd rather just like wear non branded stuff than wear fake stuff what about quiet luxury where the brand is not out there If you can afford it go for it I genuinely believe like it's like I find that really like nice to look at especially if it's like really old men wearing that That's a very <laughs> specific uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah so. I'm glad you finished that sentence <laughs> <laughs> Okay talking about men what how's how's your love life in Japan is it like I had a very they have W Riz W no they don't What They're is W Riz <laughs> Oh my w, god dude, please home. let's What do you, you know what W is? Of course I know what, what W is. is. Yeah. What is it? Granddad? <coughs> granddad? The grandma and granddad. <laughs> yeah, this is like your like daycare center. I know center. what. It's I like know. your it's like my mom had <laughs> nothing to do so she was like please shut it. We're babysitting. Yeah, I know what W is. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. I can see you what? mouth. This will go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what charisma, is charisma, w, yeah, w, w charisma, charisma, Windows charisma, W game. Yeah. Wait, Riz came from charisma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I'm that sorry, I, I didn't teach you that. I did what? 
I'm sorry I had to teach you that. Yeah, you're 10 years older than me. There are some things you have to Your mom's to 10 years older than me. Oh, boss. Yeah. That's bro, a you fact. Yeah. He fucked know. you up. Yeah. Now shut up, okay? Don't yeah. talk about my mom like that. But she is 10 years older than me. We should get her mom on the podcast. Would she come on the podcast? I'm my sure mom? she would, yeah. Would you come on the podcast? <laughs> you think she's going to respond to this now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there'll be one it's comment. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I will come on your podcast. <laughs> he's an ass minister. He's, just, he probably, he's like, he's always at my fucking house talking to my mom. <laughs> oh, she bad as hell. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh shit, fuck. Sorry, Sabina aunty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Why okay. do you think why do you think Leah's mom is so attractive? Okay, we not go there. It's actually her personality. She's so nice, you know. My mom is really like yeah. really easy to talk to. That yeah, but she he keeps talking about how hot she is. Her personality. It's really <laughs> hot. Yeah. You meant appearance. Bro, oh, can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's yeah okay okay love life love life in japan my love life i had a really normal love life like i had one boyfriend oh wow okay <laughs> elaborate on that oh. how how is the dating scene in japan oh like not you had one boyfriend in japan who was from korea what that's not normal cuz i i would rather kill myself than date a japanese person japanese people are the worst people to date mm. why they are horrible they have like, no sense of compassion or anything like oh. that So like my friend no, okay, no can I ask you a question yeah. maybe it's just the people in your grocery store yeah. maybe the other people <laughs> like you know I my feel like my friend is not like me so I am anti social and I don't like hang out with I hang out with like very minimal amount of people or I just don't interact with people at all then how do you know there are but my friend is the opposite of me she's like so she tells you yeah so I live maybe vicariously no, maybe, maybe nobody maybe like nobody you. likes your friend <laughs> yeah no she gets a lot of bitches so Speaking from her point point of view, she had a, like a Japanese boyfriend, and that was the most toxic thing I had ever seen. Yeah, Why? Like, okay, Why? elaborate on so, that. Um, okay, what like, is it like okay, dating a Japanese so, person? Like they have no concept of like your parents and you mixing in one. Like you, they, like they're fucking you, but they suddenly fuck your dad also. No, <laughs> no, like. What is wrong with you? So no. So no, like, like if you're dating a person you're so dating their parents also. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm <laughs> <friends are> really <laughs> bad. <laughs> so like if I'm dating someone, mm. like it's very common in Kochi like for your parents to know or like be mm. aware or like if they've met. Okay, Got fine. It. If they're not that like okay or chill with it, they know your friends at least, right? Yeah. So in Japan, family is something that you keep very separate. Got your it. Your friends never go to your So I've never like been to like my friend house male friends or houses or anything like that like i went dog walking once with this dude and like i went all the way to his like lobby and he brought the dogs out and then like we went mm. like there but like they don't let your parents meet got it so yeah. basically if you guys were in japan nisu would not be allowed to see your mom yeah It's not like that. Thank God we're yeah. in Kochi. <laughs> I don't know why. So like yeah, maybe it could be like the group of people that I, we've interacted with, but like majority of people I've seen, yeah. Cuz same thing with Koreans, it's like they don't mix the two. Unless it's very serious. Oh uh, yeah, unless it's very serious, then it's like yeah, mm. marriage level then yeah. But we're just a bunch of you know college students just dating. Did your ex-boyfriend mm-hmm. tell your tell his parents about you? No, I went all the way to Korea and I didn't meet his parents. Oof. You went to Korea to meet his parents and I didn't meet... go to Korea to meet his parents. I went to Korea to watch Oppenheimer. It's <laughs> <What>? Oppenheimer. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they, they, Why would you go to Korea know, to no, watch they, Oppenheimer they when it actually Japan. happened in Japan? No, they didn't, they didn't play it in Japan because <laughs> of that. You know yeah. they released it a year later. It just released like 3 months back. <laughs> So you flew Why? all the way to another country to watch yeah. a movie. Yeah, I really <laughs> wanted to watch cuz everyone in Kochi was like having Barbenheimer and I was just there having not even Barbie, not even cuz Barbie released like fucking 2 weeks. I don't think it released. The thing the thing I like most about this episode is the viewer watching it is oh she works at a grocery store. Okay, she must have X amount of money. Yeah. She also flew to Korea to watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> See, that's the thing. Working part-time is not a bad thing please get that mindset out of your head it is a very normal she actually thing. makes so much it's crazy what yeah, yeah. working part time doing nothing to you doing nothing literally <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean i work pretty hard at my store not like other people but yeah cuz i work from like 2 pm to 11 pm and it's and since foreigners like have increased like 10 times since last year mm. it's like insane amount so like everything they fucking buy i have to bag it like 
specifically yeah, yeah. in that yeah. stupid bag and i have to it's like a long line of customers from 2 p.m to 11 p.m continuously just like bagging 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 do they tip you over <laughs> that we we're not allowed to accept tips because in japan there's an insane no tipping culture i've been offered so like i've i can speak a little bit of korean too so then like i speak like i'm very friendly with the korean customers because they can barely speak in english so i'm like you know blah 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 korean blah 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 korean and Say then korean? no Say. no what no wait that's that's thai, thai shall we you fucking <laughs> racist <laughs> No, I'm just practicing my Thai. I'm going to Thailand. Yeah, so then, like, they tipped me, like, $100 once, and then I wasn't allowed to take it. My fucking manager's career, too, you know? Wait, why can't you take it? It's not allowed. It's frowned upon. Yeah. So then why are they giving it? No, the, the foreigners are giving it. Oh, the foreigners don't know, you yeah. idiot. Oh, my bad, my bad. Just yeah. stop talking. There are grocery stores in Sri Lanka. You don't even understand what's going on. It's not a grocery store. Can you say it? Stop saying it's like a grocery store. Tell, tell them it's there's like grocery stores in Sri Lanka. There, what? Nothing, nothing. It's what nothing. is it, then? It's like a department store where they sell everything, but it's not that fancy. It's really normal. So it's called a grocery store then? No, no. A grocery store is only groceries. Yeah. A department store is everything. Exactly. It's like going to Lulu Connect, you know? Not just Lulu Connect, Connect Lulu altogether. <laughs> Lulu Connect only has electronics. No, yeah. no. It's like no. imagine if all the Lulu Connect electronics. It's like a supermarket. Connect electronics is the same thing. <laughs> no, just imagine Lulu. Imagine all the Lulu yeah. Connect the electronics. <laughs> it's like going to Lulu. So you'll have Connect, you'll have fashion, you'll have groceries. So you work in a mall. You'll have everything. Yeah. N- it's not necessarily, it's one store. <laughs> but it's, it's like, like Macy's. Four, it's, it's four floors. Is it like Macy's? It's world? like Target. Target. No, okay, there. Yeah. Do you know what Target is? I've never been to the US, so I don't Me know. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you flew to Korea to meet your boyfriend and to watch Oppenheimer and then? I primarily went there to watch Oppenheimer because it didn't release in, in Japan. Japan. But I didn't end up watching Oppenheimer either. What did you see did your you boyfriend? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I still haven't seen Oppenheimer now that I think <laughs> <laughs> What? You didn't watch it? <laughs> no, watch it with me. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Why fuck? did you watch it once you went there? Because I was like, I'm only here for three days. Might as well do other stuff. Actually, oh I was sulking God. also that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that you didn't get to meet your b- boyfriend's so parents. This girl yeah. has flown all the way from Japan to Korea. Why do you want to meet your boyfriend? Because it's so oh normal. My, my mom is like very open about stuff, so it's like normal. So I'm like, you know, because no, he's yeah. yeah, like he seemed like he was as hip as me. So who said you're hip? <laughs> Okay, 29 year old. <laughs> At least she got my age right. She didn't call me a 30 year old. <laughs> That's not a diss. It's really it's not. Just, it just means that we have lived longer. We have survived more problems. Whoa. But that means Like your mom is cooler than us because she has lived 41 years. How do you know? You know how hard it is to live? So how can it be a diss? My God, yeah, why? Really Only relax. Shall we? No, I'm saying this for my friend Abiram. <laughs> <laughs> this day, she, Leah, Leah called Abiram old and Abiram felt really sad. And Abiram's my age. Aww. We have lived 10 years more than you. Abiram's younger you than you. Why are you so much? Because I am living. <laughs> There's no way you have that much stress in your life to be growing that much. I have a lot of stress in my what life. What do you stress about? Which podcast guest to bring next? Is this going to get aired? Yeah, of course. Forward. Obviously. It's really? Gonna next week. <laughs> What did you think? You just come yeah. here, sit here, speak, look at if the camera. If we were just going to chit chat, we would have done this in French yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> you really think we were not going to release this episode? I mean, like. No, are no. you stupid? <laughs> okay, but I have to say, okay, Leah is the funniest person I know. Um, you don't know many oh. funny people then. Oh. Barring oh. Tessa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because every time I see her. It's so different. Like the first time I saw her, she spoke two words to me. The next time I saw her, she spoke to me for one and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I have mood swings. Today is a high, thank God. Yeah. yeah, thank God. I want to talk about her dating a Korean man, but you guys will not let me. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm actually really interested. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah, what do you have to ask? Why were you upset that you were not meeting her parents? I mean, his parents? Because, like, I was like, really upset because we live together too so i was like what is how is it living with a like how is it different dating an indian man and a korean man <laughs> korean men are the shit you know not shit the shit indian men are shit whoa, whoa. Yeah. why would you say that because there is no chivalry in indian men because like, i think you've just met the wrong people indian men <laughs> mm. Yo, no let her continue let okay her continue. yeah but like 
I have a lot of male friends and they are animals and I would never want to date them. If I had a daughter, I hope they would never go near men like them, you know, kind of vibes. But then like Korean men, it's like I've seen basic human rights and I'm like, yo, this is insane. <laughs> like I remember once we were cooking like initial days of dating and like um, like I was deep. So like I cook a lot. So then. Like, I was, like, deveining the prawns, and, like, he took a knife and stood next to me and, like, started deveining. And I was like, oh, what? This is insane. And I would tell this to my, like, best friend, and she would be like, yeah, bro, he did this with me. And then we're, like, after... Your yeah, boyfriend yeah. is doing stuff with your friend also. <laughs> no! <laughs> chivalry. <laughs> That's too much chivalry, bro. <laughs> And then after a few months, we realized this is so normal. What is just that... What? Are you telling me an Indian man will not devein the prawns if yeah. you... No way. No What way. What do you mean? Date a I man from Champakara and then we'll see. Champakara? <laughs> <laughs> Champakara is a fish market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like basic stuff. Like, I've, like, initially, it just generally caught me off guard. Like, you know, they'd, they'd wait for me to enter. They'd, like, offer me utensils first. They'd, like, ask if I'm okay, blah, blah, blah. And it's, like, so new. Because even I've had male friends and they weren't even this considerate. And I'm like, you know. I think it's a culturally different thing aspect because oh. I don't think Indian men have it in them. So, yeah, I would never... So then why did you break up with this guy? So, you know, I didn't get to meet his parents, bro. <laughs> And I'm like, nah, this is not working out. Yeah, but I mean... <coughs> yeah, okay. I'm yeah. not going to poke the bear. <laughs> you can't, I don't mind. It's way past... Poke there. it, poke it. <laughs> <laughs> break it, break it. No, but oh, maybe fuck. he was just not ready yet. Like, who? <laughs> maybe he was not ready to make sh- make you meet his parents maybe yeah he was like embarrassed maybe he's young. sitting on korean this is not a podcast and saying fucking indian woman <laughs> <laughs> no but i'm definitely like his the one that like, got away because he's like he's like no because he was he, really she was upset. deveining the prawns but she didn't know how to fucking devein the prawns <laughs> so i had to do it for her <laughs> no because like when we like broke it off he was like pretty upset about it i'm one thing i'm, I'm not proud about that but i'm like you're so <laughs> happy that he was upset about it he's like fucking he was crying he was like <laughs> no it's just in the end of the day cultural uh, like differences was what also what like made me think that it didn't work out mm. but what is what is did he know how to speak english yeah he did because he studied in like an international school but, but there it, were obviously uh, still language barriers yeah 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 because yeah. it's not like but love has fluency. no language yeah obviously hmm. but like what did he not like about you as an indian woman i'm sure he didn't like some things about you yeah he, that's why i didn't show you this better cuz our ear wax is not flaky yeah, yeah so <laughs> like he didn't i think he had a fetish for my smell he called me curry smelling oh my god that's just but racist. he had a fetish for that so <laughs> yeah so yeah i asked you what he didn't like about you <laughs> <laughs> no the weird things he likes about you bro um i don't like, know like what did you guys fight it. about We didn't fight. That's what I'm saying. Like we, there was. Looks b- like he's the one that got away. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, why did you let go of him? He sounds perfect. She's gonna cry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's why okay. did you break up with him? I don't. Yeah, cultural differences. Cultural. Yeah, because it's not as open as we think. Like they're not as like I need the same amount of like freedom. Yeah. not freedom space <laughs> not space <laughs> like sex shut up oh. <laughs> no like how your mom is so open and yeah, okay with it yeah that's that's what i'm His trying to say yeah see like been, you know so. how my mom is very like pro- yeah, no. proactive in my friend life mm-hmm. and stuff like that yeah. so i need <laughs> i need him out of this podcast <laughs> you wanted him here yeah, for this you episode. wanted him for this <laughs> he's so irritating okay continue no no i have nothing to say huh This is a podcast. You'll have to say something. So, what about your girlfriends, huh? Don't make him cry. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. <clears throat> He has no house, no job, no girlfriends right now. I have Tessa though. <laughs> okay, tell us your craziest experience in Japan. Craziest experience yeah. that I can't say. Okay, second craziest. Dude. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> swap. Swap nanti. Sabina aunty. Sabina. 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 No, no. My mom knows all my crazy stories. Then which? Who fuck is she doing here then? Need a mom here. The very next episode, but yeah. that time you're not there. 
to. Uh, yeah, I don't think you <laughs> should. Okay, tell us tell us your crazy story. Crazy? I really don't do anything in Japan. Okay, okay, like tell I okay. Just, I, okay, I, I, so we had we had this character called Amit Thibben who came to yeah, this podcast know, and then he yeah, told I us I don't have such a story. See, like, No, no, no. I'm not talking about the threesome episode. I'm talking about a fact that he told us a story about his friend Jamit. Amit. So I want you to tell a story about the Ria. Yeah. Ria is me is me in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But that's not the point here. Oh, I thought okay. you were like being smart about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm being smart about yeah. it. Cuz yeah. Ellis are there. No, I seriously I don't have crazy <laughs> stories yeah. like all I do No, no, no. I want the See, I need to sell this podcast, so we need one crazy story. You So I don't want an excuse. I want 20, a crazy story. You brought a 20 year old. I don't give a fuck about your age. You are a, you're you a very smart. You're a very smart 20 year old. You're one of the most mature people I know. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, she's very mature. We've told you this. Damn. Yeah. yeah, being a mature person, I don't do crazy stuff. Okay, but what does Ria do in Japan? Craziest Ria Japan story. I swear to God, I don't. But my friend, no, genuinely my friend. <laughs> <laughs> not me, my genuine friend. She yeah. does a lot of like, okay. out of the box shit. I don't care okay, what it is. I just want to, yeah, yeah, crazy Japan story. I don't know. Like, she's just, like, her as a person is so different from me. Like, I am getting there. One second. Okay. You, when I asked you for a crazy story, you said, I can't tell you the craziest story. I want that specific crazy story. I don't know. I was no, yapping, bro. I swear to God, there's no crazy story. She's hiding it. She's hiding it. I don't have crazy stories. That one story, I want that crazy Japan yeah. story. I don't have I've crazy I've never okay, said okay, crazy okay, Japan okay. story that many times in my life. Yeah. How can I fake it? I don't fake it, bro. lie. It's for the lie, views. Just lie, just no, it's lie. for the views. It's for the views. Yeah. Just we like, need to we like. need to we need to put out a reel. It has it's for the views. I Make it fucking crazy. I don't have crazy stories. What are you on? Let me speak, bro. Okay, sorry, bro. Speak. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I'm, Chivalry is dead in India. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I really don't have crazy stories because like all I do in Japan is just work, work, or just drink. And like drinking, we drink from like 9 p.m. to like 6 7 a.m. And that's all we do. Yeah. So I'm interested in that part. That what happens with you 9 p.m. <laughs> and 6 a.m. <laughs> that part yeah it's just a lot of drinking <laughs> and men <laughs> drinking yeah, yeah you have to give us something man turn to see you know all my stories i don't have a story right okay tell her what's tell the craziest her. thing that i've hey, done don't ask me now <laughs> <laughs> tell her tell tell us her craziest story yeah what's the craziest thing i've done rambu you told me about the 50 people orgy thing you went for you went for an orgy and you didn't tell us yeah. that uh, you, when I meant crazy, I meant that. I thought that's what she was hiding when she said, "Oh, I can't tell you guys." <laughs> well, now you can. Yeah. <laughs> no, now you can. Yeah, just, just, just. Tell there me. is no such oh. thing. <laughs> it's fine. Dude. What? You can talk about it in the department store. Yeah. All of you went out drinking. The boss. I heard left. It, like all twelve people. It was like one guy from like every different country and shit. Because a lot of foreigners. Is this your fantasy? Now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, there's sex toy vending machines in... Oh, yeah. yeah. There's like... When I said crazy, why didn't you say that, bro? I, <laughs> I am not making the sex toys. So... Mm-hmm. So, like, next to where I work itself, there's like a six-story building of, like, just each floor having different kinds of sex toys. What? Then, yeah. Like A s- whole building of sex toys? Yeah, yeah it's that's what so I was saying. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, like phallic shapes itself. Um, penises, like they have like. <laughs> I know what phallic. <laughs> you don't need to. You Can don't you? need to look at me and say penises. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay, so like, um, they have like so many different. There's like different veins and shit on it, colors and like textures and stuff like that. Oh, oh my god! On, like, the, the phallic shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's like this thing called like the like round table pocket pussy. What is that? That sounds oh fucking God. interesting. And it's that like... sounds like the PlayStation, but for sex toys. It's so like, like... A lot of people sit together and they like... Okay. Can, yeah, yeah basically, you guessed it. Those are like... A there's bunch a round of, table. It's around like a lot of your friends can sit around and there's different holes, apparently. And like each hole is a different age. So... Oh my... There's like... God. And young as like... Preschool. Yo, Dibs are three. Japan has an insane fetish over like... <laughs> When we say minors, we're like, oh, 16, 17. No, they mean like toddlers. Yeah. It's weird as hell. They have like, so I, like in my store itself, I have like so many like costumes. So I work in a street called Akihabara, which is like the place for like anime shit. It's like the anime street. So like there's a lot of cosplays and like a lot of like sex toys. So like Tenga is the most famous pocket pussy. It's like a brand. It's like Mm -hmm. that's what everyone buys. Like at least 
like if it's a guy w- coming alone, he'll have like five tengas itself. It's like this red shaped pocket. Why does he need five when he can just use one? I'm pretty sure he's like giving it to his friend. And sh- you know, it gets overused, right? Oh my god. Okay, but I, no, I'm interested in the the PlayStation one. <laughs> the pocket pussy yeah, one. Yeah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean the friends can? S- like, like it's what? a round table. Like it's a round. So it's a table like this. I don't know how big it is, but like it's like round. Yeah, and but it's what are the friends doing there? Everybody is doing uh, it. They yeah. get their own hole. Huh? They get their own hole. Like Ooh. you can. So it's just five men fucking like different. Or one that's person crazy. can just take turns and do different. Yeah. Dude, that's nuts. That's disgusting. It's Dude, really imagine me, you, Joby, Abhiram, five, oh all of us God. just. Oh, what? What ages crazy. would you pick? I'll pick. Uh, <laughs> I'll pick eight. Pick, I'll pick eighteen and above. He's stuttering already. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick eighteen and above. <laughs> That's a line. Then it's so short. Stop! Stop! Please, please. You yeah, literally yeah, please. said three like two that minutes ago. That was a joke. That was a joke. Oh. But but like I've heard this about like Japan where they like uh, fetishize the right word. Fet- yeah, fetish. they have insane like, fetishes. So like, like no, they fetishize so, so like fantasize. Wait, yeah, so like, yeah, fantasize like prostitution poly- is illegal, I think, but. They have a word called the service sector. Like you rent a girlfriend. Yeah, so yeah. you get to rent, and like rent a girlfriend is the no- most normal yeah, thing. Yeah, that is normal. You yeah. get to rent mothers. You get to rent yeah. siblings. You get to rent all sorts of Children, things. Yeah. yeah, and it's like you, there's like prices. So like if you just want to ha- have lunch with the mother, it's like obviously. You can like also. What do you want to rent? A, what about you rent a brother and you want to fuck him like that? Is that what? Yeah, you have to pay for that. Like. It's a fantasy, right? Everything yeah. is like a top. Oh, yeah, everything is a fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, everything, oh. and it's like. Um, so you can write a brother and then fuck him. Yeah, if you have okay. to pay for it, obviously, okay. and yeah, then yeah, there's like it. a lot of, um, like, like mirror, like it's like one way, mm. like they'll do a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. stuff, and then like you get to see, and you have to pay for like how like much they remove. Zombie. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's so much of stuff, and then there's like this thing called host bars, which is like. Um, <clears throat> Host is for males, and then kabare is like the female ones, kabajo. So it's like you go to a bar, and then you get to you pick like so if it's a host bar, you get to pick a guy, and then you sit on the table, and then you have to buy him drinks, mm. and you chat with him, mm. and then like and people. So if it's like host clubs, and there's like number one host, second host, and stuff like that, and then they're like top rankings and shit, and people spend like. Females spend insane amount of money. They spend like easily like ten fifty k on like these like men. They're not doing anything. They're just talking. talking. Yeah, J- dude, Japan the place where you're doing this. Yeah, like yeah, and these men are it. ugly. They're really oh, ugly. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but I have a question. <laughs> Do you feel safe in Japan? I reach home at like one two a.m. And I work. The question, bro. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, like she's. Safe. I can't even uh, take an Uber past 9 p.m. in Kochi or anywhere in India, for a matter of fact. South India is probably At much more safer. At 2:17 a.m. yesterday, I took an Uber from Panampli Nagar alone. What? Yeah. Stop lying. Mm, Bombay is safe. Yeah. Like, I would take an Uber at any point of time. Ignored. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you hear all this podcast from. Yeah. They don't ask for their questions. They don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Sharan? <laughs> Damn, same thing happening to you. <laughs> yeah, but Japan's like really safe. It's really safe. Like even if you get hit on, it's not like you don't get hit on. You do get hit on because they believe that foreigners. It's so easy to have sex with them. Like you ask them, and can easily get um, into their pants. But if you say, "Please stop," they'll just walk away. They're that nice. How do you say "please stop" in Japanese? Yeah, my take about that. But that's also sexually. Yeah, that takes some time to like say stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was something like a round table pocket pussy. Yeah, it's really gross. There's a lot of like sex toys. Like, I think there's a lot of VR shit. I I don't know, but it doesn't make sense. They're always working, but they're always also want to have sex, and then it's like different age. They're groups insanely and, like, lonely. Like you guys are probably aware of the fact that it's like one of the lowest birth rates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second. Yeah, but then why Korea. so many sex toys then? Cause they don't want to fuck actual females. They they're really scared of females too. Like yeah, but you just but said that if, you're, if it's a club, then you the people are all friendly and they are all talking to each other. Mostly but those are foreigners. 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 Yeah, but men do it too. But it's like there's oh, they're mostly like the prostitution. But line like of no, but are girls. you telling me that like Japanese women are like intimidating? Is that, is that why men are scared? No, of them? Japanese women are so submissive. They believe that cheating is normal. Like if you ask them, um, if they're like, it's very common that if you ask like a 
like a Japanese woman, like if they view like your boyfriend going to these sec- kind of services, they'd be like, yeah, it's fine. Because like maybe I couldn't satisfy him in that sort of aspect. That's why it's normal if he's going there. Okay, then what are the Japanese men scared of then? I genuinely don't know. They're just like really... If you could stop spending so much time with Korean men and ask <laughs> Japanese men what they actually want. But <laughs> Korean men are also like, the Doing birth rate is also declining. Oh, <laughs> doing skincare all the time. No, but the Korean <laughs> birth rate is also declining. Yeah, but that's because... Um, they don't introduce you to their parents. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's probably true. I could have helped them raise their birth rate, but okay. <laughs> what are you going to give kids to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I could have procreated enough with that one guy. <laughs> Damn. Korean guy, if you're watching this... You There's know, no way. We'll send it to him. He, bl- yeah, him. he unfollowed me and shit. But he still he follows... He still follows me. You know, still follows me actually like my friend mm. who is he was really hurt that means probably yeah you broke up with him for no reason he <laughs> made your fucking prawns <laughs> and you broke his heart <laughs> yeah <clears throat> but have you been with some any Indian men after that no <laughs> that's crazy I'm not into Indian men my mom literally <laughs> she was like she was so upset when I broke up with my boyfriend mm. she was like she really wanted mixed babies Big, mm. she was like my like kids with um my ex-boyfriend would have been so cute which they would have they would have been cute they would have been really agree. cute yeah I, so i i believe like mixed babies cannot be ugly like interracial you have so many whack thoughts <laughs> interracial have you seen an ugly interracial kid yeah nisu <laughs> i am not <laughs> interracial <laughs> I can't so think like, of, I don't think I know anyone that's into He's Sri Lankan Indian. Indian. He's no, no, I'm just Sri Lankan. <laughs> oh, wow, you're owning up to your nationality for the first time. Oh, Guys, yeah. the hilarious thing about Nisu is uh, his parents have gone back to Sri Lanka and he has dropped out of college, so he yeah. will most likely, Be like he doesn't have a visa deported. soon enough yeah. to stay in India. Yeah. So he's most probably going to get kicked out of India. And he's actually anyone fighting. wants to marry me and like get me permanent yeah, residency. Yeah, he, he, he's ahead. the only person in the world trying to fight for Indian citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> to the point, they don't even know how to process <laughs> Yeah, they're like, you want to hover? <laughs> you want to be us? <laughs> we don't have a process for this. <laughs> Can you imagine if you get deported from India, dude? That would be an up. insane vlog, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 I know you want that to happen so bad. Dude, yeah. it will happen. The suit is just sitting on his ass. He's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll get deported. Nah, I got this. <laughs> What do you? F- what have you done so far? What is the? <laughs> okay, tell us all. <laughs> what is the process of becoming an Indian citizen, besides marriage? Oh. Yeah. What other? Which form? <laughs> okay. So you need your passport, visa, residency permit, and then there's like three. Wait, sorry. India has a residency, like, thing. No, it's for me. No, but no, like. I, n- I, I. She I meant a like a. a, a like a green card equivalent yeah you can like get citizenship through like four different process so, so i come under naturalization that is if i've stayed here for more than 12 years and know two regional languages what two regional languages hindi do you know? malayalam what malayalam do you know bro uh, bro <laughs> 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 okay in hindi yeah <laughs> hindi i can speak really well what do you mean say bro <laughs> <laughs> bye yeah bench with all of that yeah Covered, yeah. <laughs> the Indian government is going to ask you if you know Hindi and ask you to speak in Hindi, you're going to say Behan Chod. No, 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 I'll speak to them like proper Hindi. No, okay, actually, what's the process? Okay, how do you prove that you know these two languages? So there's this, uh, I don't know, this is what I've read, right? Like on the website, there's like some history test. Like, it's I think it's like an interview, a personality, history and like language. Okay, what are the three colors in an Indian flag? Um, Orange. Orange. Is a really orange. Wow. That's orange. also a wrong question. We First of all, that's our most important flag. color. You don't get that color wrong, bro. Bro, what? You don't get that color wrong. Tell it's the not color. orange. It's not orange. And also there are four, not Sapphire. three colors. Sapphire. Sapphire or orange? What is this? Pokemon or what, bastard? Saffron, man. Saffron, you saffron. Saffron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sapphire. Is saffron, saffron, You went yeah. to choice school, bro. Yeah. <laughs> White, green. And, and the fourth one? The blue from the chakra. How many spokes 26. in the chakra? 26. Uh, yeah. Twenty six. Yeah. Guys, please don't give him his passport. Twenty six, right? No. What is it? Even you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Indian. <laughs> I'm an Indian. Nobody will ask me. <laughs> How many? I think twenty four. No. 
I thought it was fifty-two or something. Dude, I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> you fifty-two. <laughs> okay, name three Indian kings. <clears throat> Dude, you're choking uh, so hard. <laughs> Indian kings. Yeah. Um, I got this. Ashoka. Okay. Um. It's called the Ashoka Chakra, just FYI. But yeah, Ashoka. Oh damn. Okay. Then the Taj Mahal guy. Taj Mahal guy. <laughs> 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 How many spokes in the chakra? Aurangzeb. Nice one. But yeah. what is the Taj Mahal guy called? Taj Mahal guy is the father of Aurangzeb. <laughs> Bro, yeah, wait. <laughs> Shit. Shah Jahan. Correct. Yeah. It would be really funny if you said Dhoni or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you would say that. Virat Dhoni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many states are there? Twenty-nine. I don't know. Keep changing, bro. I don't no, know. No, it's twenty nine. It's twenty nine. Twenty nine. This including Telangana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was twenty eight before. Correct. Yeah. Oh, one question you got wrong. I mean, right. Okay, ask me more. Including the split. <coughs> Sorry, I take that handshake. I think back. it's twenty eight. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It's more than I would know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm dying because Abhiram is sitting on me. Abhiram. <laughs> Sabro, not that much, man. This is a fun episode. Learned a lot about Japan. <laughs> My next trip is to Japan. Really, you should come. I don't have friends there. Me neither. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tessa, what do you have to say? Tessa, how's it been interning for Shamini? Amazing. I found out I'm getting fired today. <laughs> You're not getting fired. Can you please? I'm getting replaced. Ruby. You're not. You will not be replaced. You're yeah. my favorite human being. I am the OG intern. Yes. Jobi, uh, according to Leah, kids who go to choice are terrible. What What are your thoughts about like the schools? Yeah, let's make Don great again. You know. Let's make Don great again. What What is What is Don was always great. great. Come to Don, guys. Don Didn't is. Didn't all the kids of Don come to Global? No. Yeah, it did. What? I know a lot of people. <laughs> Why are you hurting him, Leah? I just. Oh, this way, this way. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's painful. I don't remember this though. Okay, it's just three people probably. Yeah. They're saying there was only three people in Don or something. <laughs> yeah, guys, for for context, Joby wants Don. <laughs> for context, is this the first time you're meeting Joby? Yeah. Oh my god. But I remember, I remember, I remember What? your brother. Yeah, sweetest boy, no? Yeah, sweet boy. And really, my brother is really sweet. I'm not. He's the favorite child. We can tell. Do you, do you, <laughs> do you remember her mom? Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It was not the brother. No. <laughs> so we're gonna get Leah's mom on the next episode. You think she'll come? Yeah. She'll come. She'll come. I'll ask her. Yeah, my no mom worry. would come. I think Leah's gonna convince her not to come. Yeah. Because <laughs> the minute I leave Kochi, you guys have no contact with my mom. Why? That's how it. W- she texts me like every week. She texts me every week. I'm still gonna text her. Still gonna meet her. Still gonna have biryani with her. Still gonna sleep next to her. I mean, I, no, 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 shit, shit, no, 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 cut that, cut that. You, we don't, we don't, we don't cut anything out, bro. <laughs> You're just going out of sight. It was really weird, Nessa. No, it was really weird. Yeah, now you won't. Now none of that's happening. That now the sleeping is not happening. I will not be cutting that out. Why did you say it? I just came out. It's a habit. No, no, it's fine. He's asleep next to her. Next to her. Technically, he does. He sleeps in my living yeah. couch. Yeah, that's that's literally what I mean. Yeah, like he sleeps sleep on my couch. So yeah. In the room next to hers. Yeah. 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 Facts. Yeah. yeah. But she's in his room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching this episode. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Don't look at me like that. Say goodbye in Japanese. Yeah, arigato gozaimas. Hi, arigato gozaimashita. Fuck, dude, that sounds so like authentic. Yeah. Crazy. All the Japanese I know from Takeshi's castle. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bang, Shoei. <laughs> Wait, that's not Japanese. No, Takeshi's castle. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is Japanese. Japanese. Hindi. I didn't watch the Indo I mean, Japanese. You know, apparently Dumbari only Mark. eight people have won that show. Eight Dumbari or six people. Mark. Yeah, only yeah. eight or six people have won that show. Takeshi's Castle. Huh? Do you know that? What? Like the the Takeshi's Castle, only eight or like six people have won that show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, you say bye in Japanese. Dumbari mas. <laughs> Hi, dumbari mas. What does dumbari mas mean? Dumbari mas means I'll try my best. I'll do my best. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dumbari mas. I legit thought they were making fun of Japanese culture through Takeshi's castle. <laughs>
No, no, that it is Japanese. Oh. It was Japanese such a good show. Yeah, it was. I love that game. I also love that. I wish we could all play that game. I thought I could do so yeah, well. Yeah, make like a Kochi yeah. Takeshi's yeah, Casho. 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 <laughs> 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 okay, bye guys. I'll be like, hey, get off. <laughs>